द बिलियमसन इथर सिंथेसिस बिलियमसन इथर सिंथेसिस इज यूज फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ इथर when alkoxide ion that is ro minus reacts with alkyl halide it gives ether x minus leaves we can also take in place of alkyl halide alkyl tosylate it will also give the ether ots minus will be released as a good leaving group so in this case x minus is the leaving group in this case ots minus is a leaving group so we can either use alkyl halide or we can use alkyl tosylate now alkoxide ion that is formed is generally prepared from alcohol so ro minus is prepared from ether from alcohol when alcohol reacts with sodium this hydrogen is acidic so it releases hydrogen and form alkoxide ion similarly we can treat with alcohol with sodium hydride it will also give hydrogen gas plus alkoxide ion this reaction can also be done in the presence of potassium so we will have ro minus plus hydrogen gas so ro minus is prepared from alcohol reacting with sodium or sodium hydride or we can have potassium now this reaction follows sn2 pathways so reaction follows sn2 mechanism that is alkoxide ion attacks on alkyl halide and a leaving group is released so we will have ether plus x minus same thing happens with alkyl tosylate this time this attacks ots minus leaves so either alkyl halide or alkyl tosylate both can be attacked by alkoxide ion now generally this reaction is better for 1 degree alkyl halide and 2 degree alkyl halide 3 degree alkyl halide gives elimination product so 1 degree alkyl halide gives mainly substitution product but 2 degree and 3 degree alkyl halide also gives elimination product for example if i have ro minus reacting with ch3cl 
in this case mainly SN2 product we will have ROCH3 or if I have CH2CH CH3 CH2Cl in this case again we will have mainly substitution product so this will attack on this carbon and this will leave so we will have RO CH2 CH3 plus Cl minus so mainly we will have substitution product in case of tertiary alkyl halide we will have mainly elimination product so 3 degree alkyl halide mainly elimination product So let us say if I have RO minus and if this reacts with CH3, CH3, CH3 Cl, in this case this alkyl halide is 3 degree alkyl halide. So we will have mainly elimination product. So elimination will be favored in this case. In this case it will act as a base previously this is acting as a nucleophile so in this case RO- is acting as a nucleophile in this case also RO- is acting as a nucleophile for 3 degree alkyl halide it will act as a base so if it acts as a base it will pull a proton from here this goes here and the same time a Cl will be lived so we will have ROH plus CH2 double bond CCH3 CH3 that is alkene is the major product some side product we will also get from substitution but that will be the minor so alkene is the major product in this case if I have 2 degree alkyl halide substitution as well as elimination both product will be formed so in case of 2 degree alkyl halide we will have substitution both happens For example, let us say if I have OR minus and this reacts with CS3, CCL, hydrogen, CS3. Now, if this acts as a nucleophile, so in this case, this will attack on this carbon. So, we will have. this is the product now when this acts as a base we will have elimination product this will pull this proton this goes here so this can be lived so we will have CH2 double bond CHCH3 So when we have primary alkyl halide mainly we will have ether as a product in case of tertiary and secondary alkyl halide we will have substitution as well as elimination both product. So mainly one degree alkyl halide is used for preparation of ether. So mainly one degree alkyl halide is used for preparation of ether for example let us say if I have this alcohol 
and this is treated with sodium we will have alkoxide ion O minus Na plus hydrogen gas will be released when this alkoxide ion reacts with alkyl halide let us say CH3Cl we will have final product OCH3 plus NaCl let us say what will be the product in this case so first it is reacted with sodium and then it is reacted with CH3I so first step we will form an alkoxide ion and then it will attack on CH3 so finally we will have OCH3 now let us consider this problem so this says why is the following reaction a poor method for synthesis of tertiary tert butyl propyl ether so this reaction reacting with tert butyl bromide this gives tert propyl tert butyl propyl ether this is not a good method this is because this time alkyl halide is tertiary so on tertiary alkyl halide we will have mainly elimination so this is not a good method because alkyl halide is tertiary now let us discuss part B what would be the major product from this reaction in this case we will have mainly elimination so we have CH3 CH2 CH2 O minus this will act as a base so it will pull a proton so this goes here and this goes here so we will have CH2 double bond C CH3 CH3 now C part so propose a better synthesis for tart butyl propyl ether so we have to prepare this one so what we can do we can take this part as my alkoxide ion and this part as alkyl halide in that case we will have alkyl halide is primary and alkoxide ion is tertiary so we will have very few chance of elimination so we can take this one as alkoxide ion and this part as alkyl halide if this reacts this will give mainly substitution product and this can be formed from alcohol so if I have this alcohol and this is treated with sodium it will give this alkoxide ion so this alkoxide ion when reacts with this alkyl halide we will have the desired product so only important point we have in case of Williamson ether synthesis we have to take alkyl halide that should be primary alkoxide ion can be primary secondary or tertiary but the alkyl halide taken it should be primary so for better synthesis using Williams and ether synthesis
primary alkyl halide should be used that is the only bottom line we have here for reactions using Williamson ether synthesis